Guys, I can't believe it's just over three months until the Youth Work Summit. It's going to be incredible. I know, it's so exciting, isn't it? We just need to find a way to get as many youth workers and volunteers there as we can. I mean, what sort of things do you think are stopping people from being there on the 22nd of October? Time. I think time's going to be one of the main reasons. It could be a long journey up to Manchester. It's for 36 hours or so. And budget, the cost of, of the travel and, and of being there. Yeah, but just think about the fantastic wealth of knowledge and experience that's going to be there on the day. And it's not just learning from the stage. I mean, it's learning from each other as well. Do you think that there'll be people who usually do their youth work on a Friday or a Saturday night and they might feel like it's too much of a sacrifice or maybe that they're neglecting their duty or something like that? Maybe. Yeah, but it's really important, isn't it, to have kind of time together as a, as a team, if, particularly if you're coming with other people. Um, team building, yeah, that can be really, really important and, and the Youth Work Summit could be a really great time for that. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what, guys? I don't reckon most youth leaders are going to need that much convincing. I think it's the church leaders, their bosses, that are going to need the convincing. Mm. I think they're the ones, ultimately, who sign off on their timesheet or maybe would pay for them to go. What we could do is think of ten really compelling reasons for church leaders to send their youth teams away to the summit. And if we put them somewhere that they can be printed off by youth workers and they can just be handed to their employers. They can go up on the website, youthworksummit.com, mm. yeah. and uh, Facebook, and we can put it out through Twitter as well. Yeah. So anybody can anybody can print them off. It's a good idea, but we do need to come up with a really stupendous bit of video content for the bonus footage this month. What do you think? Yeah. Any ideas? Mm. Lego. A big youth work summit house made of Lego. Wow. Hmm. What about a huge domino rally in oh. the shape of Martin Saunders, Matt Summerfield, and Chris Curtis? What do you think, Sean? Sean's been quiet today. No, anyway, I think that's just too much effort. I'm sorry, guys, but what we could do is we could edit the footage from last year's summit of Ren Collective doing iPhone worship, yeah, which was yeah, absolutely yeah. brilliant. All right, that point is nailed. What's next on the agenda? Goodie bags. So do you think we can actually fit a space hopper in a goodie bag? It's going to be a bit tight, isn't it? 